What, what about if they ran full zone uh, speed mm -hmm. option? Because now you're falling back away from the speed option. You got no pitch defender. So you do. That's the deal, right? It's because it's based on what? It's based on not just the zone flow, but the quarterback running back relationship. So, so the zone flow, the zone flow is to the to the back. So you're running, you're blocking mm -hmm. out to the zone and running speed option. I know, son. Mm -hmm. I got you. So when we get outside zone, we don't play it like inside zone. We say enter and skate or press and cap. Sure. Right? And so what happens is we say press and cap. Let's just talk outside zone and then you'll understand how speed option works, right? Because it's the same thing in eight man spacing, it's just different people. So I get outside zone lead, right? He leads up. If I get outside zone, the play side backer, okay, in the run game, knows he's gonna press the line of scrimmage. Okay, so he's going to press and he's going to end up being the C-gap player in the run game. The star is going to end up being what? The star is going to end up being the outside fitter with the free safety playing stack force. The weak side safety is playing the front side half of the block. So he, his coverage. That's the why. So is the will read the why. So the will is uh, reading why or the guard? Because you said he was reading no, the offensive That's what I'm saying. He's, he's reading the offensive lineman. Not. So he's not falling back on that one. No, because he's reading outside zone flow. When we get to indicator fits and eight man spacing, it's not the same. So we got to teach them the difference between outside zone and inside zone, whether we fall back or not. Correct. We always do. Outside zone is always entering escape in solo space. But it looks the same as inside zone. Outside zone for us means the backs pads are getting the horizontal and the offensive line is ripping and running. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the linebackers read. The linebackers read, that's what we tell them. That's the task. That is literally, that is what we say. So let me I do this. It. I get it. I'm saying that you, you, mm -hmm. you, know, you got to differentiate between when he's going to fall back or not. We do. That is, that is what we do. It's hard to see if he's falling back against outside zone and inside zone because they look real similar. So for us, that's why we don't just focus on the offensive line. And that is also why we play loose up front. Because if I play loose, outside zone and inside zone don't look the same. This is how it all fits together. I think we're attack read. We're, yeah. now. And we're playing loose. So let's talk about how that works. It's a good conversation to have. It's exactly what we wanted. Here we go. I'm playing attack react up front. I'm not playing gap charge. I'm playing attack react. Right. I'm coming my hips and my hands and feet. My feet will fall, and I'm playing this loose. Sure. So if an offensive line runs outside zone, he's never going to get his hands on the slip lock as he slips me of the offensive lineman. He's not going to get hands on it, right, because he's playing this loose. Okay? Yeah, I'm with you. So when he goes to – in flight, he's going to replace because when you can't yeah. protect, not, replace. I, I get that part. Now, differentiate the, the read between the, the linebacker, how he knows it's inside zone and outside I'm zone. I'm going to. I'm going to. This is how it's going to work. If we don't understand how this relationship happens, we don't understand how they look different to the, off, to the linebackers because we don't understand how they handle the combinations. So that's what we're going to talk about. Make sense? Yep. So – that happens, this offensive line is trying to reach this player, right? He is working away from the player, playing loose. He is cutting the play off. He has to work either flat, which is going to be fan-fan, which is not going to be outside zone because the ball is going to get cut off, or he has to bucket step to reach the guy. This guy's almost an entire gap over, right? But he's playing loose, so he's not playing thick on the tackle. Okay? Because we play it that way, it's really easy for these guys to differentiate a reach block like that. Okay? Or like that. And what inside zone scoop or base bump, which is what you tend to get as a four eye combination block looks like. When you get, if you are loose, 
as a 4 I, I'm right here. If you're an offensive lineman trying to work a combination, you're going to do it one of two ways. You're going to scoop it, which is going to look like slip. And so he's going to replace it and the ball is going to get cut off because we're playing this loose. Okay? Which is not what we're going to do in eight-man space. It's not what we're going to do. Okay? So you're either going to run scoop, which means the tip of the pad works away from me, but it's working vertically away from me. So it's the difference between, I'll show you. It's the difference between that and that. Or you're going to get base bump, which is going to look like this. That's base. Those combinations look nothing like outside zone. Now, where it can get tricky is when offensive linemen understand that you were playing loose. So what do they start to do? Gallop techniques you. Well, they, if, they gallop, if they gallop you, it's going to play out like inside zone. That's what I'm, That's what I'm saying. saying, right? Te technique you and then run the, back, run the tackle off to the backer and cut the backer off. That's fine. Now That's they have numbers. That's now they're saying. Their hat. That's what we're saying, right? He's loose. Gallop back. We used to get that all the time at Cal. Yep. Literally all the time. All the time. Because really, because we played thick and we played a bunch of lag, which we'll talk about later. We are going to talk about it. Right? And so the guard works up to the backer. That looks like base. This looks like slip still. If you're this backer and you get that and you think it's inside zone, that's fine. Because if they do it that way on the combination, the vice of the ball is going to be between him and him because that's going to happen. The ball is going to go here, and the vice is going to be here and here because we're maxed out. So one of the drawbacks of playing nine-man spacing with the weak safety over here is that he's trying to fit the CD up space. Now, we work really hard on playing the flow of the back to determine off of the offensive line and the flow of the back, what we're going to do. If the back pads turn, yeah, we'll treat it like outside zone. If the back pads don't, we'll treat it like inside zone. It's better to, to relate to a face mat, mask than, than pads because sometimes the little backs are in there you can't see their pads. Certainly, certainly. All right. 